rising ground folks guys i'm on the way to another no heat call this call literally just came in a few minutes ago when i was in the basement at my last call this is a brand new customer he said that he has a two zone setup two zone from how he was explaining it this might be a one system with a um similar to a call i had this morning guys it's two thermostats one furnace and guys this morning this customer this is unrelated but this customer had two nest thermostats and i was going to put this on video but i had to get in to get out because i had a shitload full of errands to run this morning guys um but to make a long story short with that customer from this morning he had a nest thermostat and it was saying that it couldn't detect the common wire and i'm thinking maybe it was a safety and guys nothing downstairs was um was tripped and the common downstairs at the zone board was in everything was wired up right and i had 24 volts from r to c and that nest thermostat was still reading that um, there was no common wire detected, so I ripped that off the wall and I put in a regular, um, a regular um, digital thermostat, and it worked. But guys, that was a t that was a different call. That customer said he's cool with just a digital. He just didn't want to go through the the headaches of dealing with that Nest thermostat. But guys, this customer here, I have no history with, but <laughs> that customer actually said it on the phone. He thinks something's going on with the thermostat there as well. So. Guys, we'll see what's up, man. That's why they pay us the big bucks, guys. We fix shit and we get things up and going the same day. I'll see y'all when I get there. Peace. All right, guys. And this customer said that this is a AC only air handler. I don't know why the doors are off there. But here's the scoop. This is just an 80% hot water boiler. And according to this customer, he used to have three thermostats, one basement, one first, and one second floor, once upon a time. But two years ago, they removed the second floor thermostat and they wired both of these zone valves together on the first and second floor. So right now, the first floor thermostat is controlling the first and second. And he said a few days ago, he had the um, thermostat up to 75 on the first floor and he couldn't get it above, he couldn't get the first floor above 62. And he said he came down here and opened and closed his own valve and the unit apparently worked. And of course guys, I just got here and I turned the first floor thermostat on and I turned the basement zone on too, just to test it. And sure enough, everything is hot. So I'm just trying to piece together what the customer said versus what I'm seeing here. And guys, keep in mind, a boiler doesn't have any safeties that reset. I'm talking automatically. All the boilers, all, all of my safeties are manually reset. Nothing resets by itself here. I know there's probably a block vent switch back there, but once that thing trips, you gotta manually reset it. And the customer said he didn't do anything besides jiggle this zone valve here, which is the second floor. And I don't think they did much of anything, but he said as soon as he did that, it turned on. Now, instantly guys, I want you to look at what I'm seeing here. Look at their pressure. That's not good. This thing is almost at zero PSI. So, let's fill this to adequate levels because that low water cutoff certainly will turn this unit off if we don't have enough water in the boiler. But guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Let me fill this up, I'll be right back. All right, guys. I know my water feeder is working, it's not bleeding by because Instantly, you guys hear that? It only made that noise when I lift the lever up. The sound goes away when I lift the lever down, which indicates that the valve is closed. And this customer didn't specify any water problems or anything leaking. But guys, the only safety I can, I can see that would have caused this unit not to work or short cycle is the low with a cutoff. 
But my question is, where's the water going? And this isn't radiant heat, guys. This is all baseboard. This is all baseboard. And yeah, guys, all this is piping hot. I can't even keep my hand on it. This is burning hot. And guys, just in case you're wondering, nope, I did not do this for job security. <laughs> I didn't take that door off so we can call this back in the spring. I don't know why that door is off. As soon as I came down here, this customer didn't seem too concerned with it. So guys, I don't know if this customer is working on that air handler himself or what, but let me show you. It's all burning hot. That nest thermostat he has for the basement zone. Guys, what is 18 degrees Celsius? I know 21 Celsius is like 70, no, 22 Celsius is 71 degree supply. I mean, 71 degrees Fahrenheit. What is 18? 18 is like what, 68, 69? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what 18 degrees Celsius is. But guys, he said the basement zone was already hot. But based on what I'm seeing, I think this unit might have went off on low water. Unless another safety was reset, like I said. I mean, I'm only going off what he told me and what I'm seeing, but he said nothing was reset. He just played with the lever on his own valve, and I know that did probably didn't do anything, but coincidentally, when he toggled with the lever, the unit probably, the little bit of cutoff probably turned on. But yeah, guys, I can probably ask him or probably look to see if, but I mean, any water, this isn't like a, any, this, nothing's going below ground or in any crawl spaces, guys. All the pipes are exposed. So if we're losing water somewhere, my question would be where? And this backflow preventer, is a check valve this will prevent the water from backing out of the boiler so yeah guys this is like a head scratcher the only thing i can do here is just tell the customer to keep an eye out on the system but i mean i know the thermostat everything is okay the unit the thermostat upstairs is just a regular digital thermostat and that was already at 22 degrees celsius when i got here which is 71 72 degrees so yeah, guys, this is quite the conundrum. This is Bosch. All right, guys. But yeah, intermittent issues. You can add this service call to that topic there. This is certainly an intermittent problem. But like I said, guys, knowing that this boiler was on zero PSI, I definitely feel better knowing that we have water in this boiler because like I said, putting two and two together at zero PSI, how, this, how the pressure was when I got here, I know for sure this unit probably tight, probably switched off on lower to cut off a few times, but like I said, guys, something like this, you gotta start somewhere and you have to address something like this one problem at a time. Like I said, if something's wrong with the ignition, remember he said the basement zone was already hot. If something was wrong with the ignition, I knew the basement zone would be ice cold. The whole house would have got cold. But even when I got here today, the house was already at 71 on the first floor. But it should work a little bit better knowing that we have 18 PSI on the boiler. That should be enough pressure to get us up to the second floor. And everything is piping hot still, so... Yeah, guys, I'm going to write this up, and I'll tell the customer we've got to keep an eye out on this setup here. And I took before and after pictures of the, of the bullet pressure, and I hear my circulator running. Yeah, I'll tell you, I took before and after pictures. I let him know what I did as far as adding water to the boiler, but 
Like I said, guys, the only thing I know is what you told me with both thermostats. Technically, well, with both zone valves being connected to one thermostat, which is on the first floor. That's the only thing that was done, he said before, but everything else is as it was years prior. But, all right, guys, let me write this up and I'll give you guys the update if I got to come back here. Peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one.